Wow. Uh, what, what, a, what a great night. Um, from, you know, even surprising his teammates and asking his girlfriend to marry him, her saying yes, which I was really worried about. Uh, <laughs> told me about it this week. We were going to do it. He made me the ring bearer. Terrific home season. Lost to two elite teams, and we lost the game because we were, you know, mature enough at the time uh, to win it. So, um, you know, and tonight we were just really good. I want to thank everybody that helps with our home games. I know a lot of people put in a lot of work uh, to be a part of it. The building set up everything. Um, it's a lot of people do a lot of great things for us to have the season, um, be a part of it, and uh, it's just great. Great for us, so all of Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. <laughs> Um, in terms of yesterday, you spoke about Minnesota has some bad teams in the world. How much do you feel your team also had its bad against the world? And how important was it for the team to, to get a win before they get big to tournament? And as well as for Anthony and Jalen. Yeah, uh, it was huge for us. And um, I was encouraged. I said this yesterday from the Michigan game. I know we didn't win it. I was encouraged with our effort, the way we defended. Um, they just made plays down the stretch. We weren't quite good enough to get over the hump. Uh, we had a great week of practice. We had, we had a great week of practice. And um, I knew we were going to play well. I knew we were going to play with energy. Um, I didn't think it would be quite that easy. I know the score only says nine, but um, we were at 20 a lot in that second half. So um, it was great. And I could tell our guys were locked in yesterday in practice. We went through our ball screen defense. 10 minutes second, it was just true, and I uh, carried over into tonight's game. So, I had a feeling we were going to play well. It's great to see Anthony get a few shots. Um, and then Sticks was, you know, he was terrific. And uh, I thought he started with his defense. You know, he really battled that big kid in there. He did a great job. He hit a couple threes. And we got a lot better offensively tonight. We missed, we're still not great, you know, but we, we, our movement was great, our execution was great uh, in the second half. Um, you back, Emily? Yeah. Welcome back. Thanks. Um, about a week ago, we were talking a lot about the slow starts and the turnovers yeah. and to have two straight games where both those things are um, improving. Is that a reassuring spot to be in as, as you're going into the playoffs? Yeah. Well, we started the second half good, too. Well, second half well. We've done that a lot this year, so it is encouraging um, that we're doing it. it so we've changed some things offensively. Uh, to help us, give us a little bit more movement, play through different guys, uh, and I think it's helping. And, uh, as long as we keep guarding and rebounding, and our turnovers have come way down, which is great. Mark, this was an important game for you guys, but uh, they seemed loose uh, during warm-ups, during yeah. senior days, they're laughing around. Yeah. Is, did you encourage that, or uh, is that just what this team is like? Uh, what was that? About? Well. We talked about having fun, but you don't know if kids are going to relax or not. Um, we were a little uptight Sunday uh, in that game. Um, but you know what, I just keep telling the guys, we've had a hell, we've had a hell of a regular season, guys. I mean, we're the fifth youngest team in college basketball. Every team in the Big Ten had a tough schedule. Ours was, they're not all the same. Ours was extraordinary. 
We had eight out of 11 in the middle of it on the road and are away from home. We had one less home game than everybody else. Went to 20 league games for the first time. I just kept telling the guys they're doing great things. All right, guys, we're doing great things. We're doing amazing things. You guys, you guys continue to just do great things. And we're getting better. And maybe they, they're starting to believe that. And um, this is the team that I've really enjoyed up until this point coaching because they've given me everything they've got. And they've had to overcome a lot of things. So um, really proud of them. They were loose. I think they're getting more confident. They love each other like crazy. Um, and that shows, by the way, they had no idea Eva was going to do it. And the way they reacted to Eva just shows you the love and how young they are. Um, the way they reacted to that. Andy, back How much easier is it out there when your team does win the turnover margin and you can force 13 out there so it's for you to off their numbers? Well, it, it's never easy. Um, it's always hard. But uh, what's easy is when your defense is locked in. That, that, that helps. You, you know you can get stops. And you look up and it's 60 to 40. And you're like, okay, they're not going to get the 60 they really did. <laughs> but um, you, you feel comfortable. But we've really worked hard on the turnover situation. It's not like we were, <clears throat> weren't talking about it in January because we were. Um, guys are just making better decisions. They're, they're getting in the paint, not rushing things. Um, and we're getting better. I keep telling you, we're getting better. And uh, it's encouraging. And I, I, I still think our best basketball is ahead of us. I really do. And, um, and that's exciting because our league is so good and the schedule we play, it's made us better and it's made us, it's made us tough. Mark, I know you said that the defense had kind of key to our tonight. In terms of carrying it over and trying to get some continuity for him, what do you think is as key as he has in the conference tournament? Well, it's up to him. You know, he's got to be aggressive. Uh, he's got to play with toughness, which he did tonight. Um, he's got to act like he's one of the best players on the floor, which he did tonight. Um, it's up to him. It's all there. We need him. He knows it. Um, it hasn't always gone the way he's wanted this year, but he's handled it in class. And um, you know, but we need him. And, you know, he's doing extra workouts. He's doing extra things, um, extra weight workouts. He's doing a lot of things to help get him ready. So just happy for him to have him out like this. Mark, I, I think the chance for Andrew started with about 11 minutes left in Minnesota. 12 something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then Minnesota scored six straight points and he called timeout. Yeah. What was just the message? Quick, quick call for Andrew. That's what my message was. No, um, I, you know, I, don't, I can't remember. There's so many timeouts. It was just, um, <clears throat> I think I subbed some guys in during that timeout. Um, just play better and finish the right way. Don't stop guarding. Make sure our transition defense is solid. I think about where we were transition defense a month ago to where we are now. It's crazy how much better we've gotten. Um, and our bigs are a big part of that. So just keep doing it. We didn't do it the last three minutes, but we were, we were terrific there. Um, we did a great job on coffee. And then just take good shots. And, you know, I thought we took a couple quick ones during that stretch, but we, we started taking good shots the rest of the way. Mark, talk about the job that uh, Marcel did early on top of so to set the tone defensively and also the fact that second straight game of no, no turnovers. Yeah, he's making better decisions in the lane, which is it's great. Um, I'm not sure how many assists he had. He was 4 0 against Michigan. Um, I told the team, we were watching film the other day, and I told the team, I said, we have a lot of really good individual defenders, but our defense starts with Daryl. Okay, Daryl's always going to guard the best player, maybe even one through four as we move forward. Okay, and everybody's got to accept that. Now, Anthony was first team all league last year defender. Bruno's pretty good too, right? Sticks is not shabby for uh, a skinny freshman. Um, but it starts with Daryl. And I think Daryl, you can see Daryl start to get revved up in shell drill and practice. Um, it carries over to the rest of us. So, um, made a couple mistakes, went underneath the handoff. Uh, a couple things we didn't walk through, and we weren't prepared for that, and then we adjusted as the game went on. And just how uh, to him accepting that role and, and knowing what his role was, he was really, at this point, more sure, more confident in his role both, on both ends. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. absolutely. And he made a three today, which is great, but he's not taking bad shots, which is good. Uh, yeah, he gets it. He gets it. Darrell started to work harder, too. Darrell's worked harder the last six weeks, and it shows in his game. 
if we're on the guys all the time, you got to give more. You got to you know, work more. Not just the time that we have, but you got to give extra time. And he's really worked hard at a lot of things. So I'm happy. I guess. Elf. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.